for another doomsday year. There are many people who are creating fear for this year 2024. Ah, what's going on with 2024? I also made a video on 2024 and in that video I said this is the year of Saturn because if you add the numbers you get to 8 which is the uh, year of Saturn. But people don't understand what is Saturn and that's the problem. Because of this, people uh, start creating fear or getting fear, okay? So, today we are going to understand what this year can bring for us, okay? Because if you do not understand Saturn, you will fear him unnecessarily. Because Saturn is not a planet which you should fear. Saturn is a planet that you need to embrace. Should I repeat? Saturn is not a planet that you should fear. Saturn is a planet that you must embrace or rather saturn is a planet which you have to embrace <laughs> today or tomorrow which means you cannot run away from it beyond a certain extent okay you can but how long right so that's what saturn is so basically you have to understand that every year as per numerology brings certain traits into our lives okay so for example this year if you see 2024 it is the number of saturn it's the year of saturn so which means it will bring saturnian traits into our life okay which means you will have to work hard you will have to be disciplined you will have to stay true to your commitments you cannot just beat around the bush that will not work okay so therefore if you fall in one of the two categories, now generally people are in one of the three categories. One category is the ideal category, which is you know very disciplined, very committed, very uh, focused, very dedicated. And then the third category is no focus, no dedication, no discipline, right? But most of the people like you and me will fall in category number two. Okay, so category two is where we have some uh, discipline, we, we do not have some discipline, we have some weaknesses, we give in to some bad habits uh, and we, give, we do not uh, do some good habits which we, uh, which, which we should uh, be giving into actually. Okay, so therefore, we fall in category 2, most of the people, there very rarely we find people in category 1 or 3. So therefore, if you fall in the uh, second category, then it is very important that uh, you uh, should try to aspire to go to the first category. Because if you try to see, in the language of Saturn, if you are in category 2 and you do nothing, you are going to category 3. Okay, so if you want to remain in category 2, because you cannot reach category 1, it's very difficult. Okay, you can, but maybe for a short period of time. But the thing is, if you want to even stay in category 2, you have to push, push and push for category 1. So, this means if you are having a job and you are not serious, you are grazing social media or you are watching uh, YouTube exotic astrology videos, <laughs> or any other astrology, or sports, or anything else during your office hours, mm, uh, yeah, then you may be fired from your job, right? Not because it's the year of Saturn, but it is your irresponsible behavior. So, if you feel that uh, you have been dragging along in your job for some time, and you think or you feel your manager is not noticing you, then uh, maybe this is the year he or she will notice and you will be fired. <laughs> now, we always need somebody to blame, right? So who will take the, who Who better can uh, be the, per, who can be a better uh, blame taker than Saturn, right? He's taking the blame for everybody, right, in this world. Anything goes wrong, oh, it's Saturn, Sade Sati, you know, dreaded Sade Sati, blah, 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 all this, and the craziness is just beginning, right? So, therefore, if you, if you know something is going downhill and you do not act on it, that is the area where 2024 will punish you. But if there are certain things which will uh, come as per your dashas, you know, which could be good, which could be bad, depending on the... Uh, the area of your life 
So then that's a separate discussion because the, that will depend on your overall chart. But what I'm trying to tell you is that do not create fear unnecessarily. There's nothing to fear. If you are disciplined, if you are aspiring to go to category one, but if you are in category three or in category two, but you have let it lose and you are somehow going to category three, then it's a very dangerous situation for you. You may have diseases, you may have uh, so many problems in this year, okay? So therefore, you have to understand what what exactly uh, does planets do? Why do they do certain things? Okay, why do they not do certain things? So therefore, uh, if you feel uh, fear that, okay, um, why not just carry it? It could be, you know, marriage also. So in context of your marriage, you feel, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just doing anything and my spouse is tolerating. Then he or she may uh, say bye-bye to you. <laughs> because it is imperative for you that you improve yourself and you um, you overcome your weaknesses. Okay, Otherwise, what happens is, you don't uh, you don't elevate yourself. What to speak of spiritual elevation? That is a distant reality. But even materially, you don't improve yourself. Okay, so when you stay where you are, you lose the ability to access your high, highest potential, and that is why, as per karma, sometimes these uh, so-called bad years or you know bad uh, karmic things come. You know, bad dashas will come to teach us certain things. Because uh, the universe, God, Lord Krishna, and everybody else, all the rishis, sages, all the devatas, anybody, okay, everybody wants us to use our potential to the fullest. And when the universe sees we are not doing this, then God sends some, uh, you know, uh, things in your life. <laughs> You may call it bad karma, good karma, lessons, uh, whatever, that, that that's up to you. You put a name on it. Like in, but the thing is, it is your, um, it is for your good that it is happening. Okay, so this year, 2024, if you lose something, if you lose something in 2024, then ask yourself, how bad did I screw it in the past few years? Because if you are losing something, if there is some new disease which comes in 2024, then ask yourself, oh, yes, I lost it. <laughs> so it is not that suddenly the disease has appeared. You know, it is because of many, 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 many years of, you know, bad eating, bad sleep, you know, drugs, alcohol, smoking, uh, masturbation, because of all these uh, things, now the problem is coming and you are, you feel now, oh, eight has punished me. No, it's not like that, all right? So therefore, if any time you are feeling that this year you have some fears, then, well, this year uh, is the time of results, okay? So if you have been working very hard towards a particular area of your life, depending on your Mahadasha, Antardasha, you will get very good results. And uh, if you have screwed it and you are least bothered about it, then, uh, well, uh, this is the time to pay back, okay? So, therefore, if you are sincere with yourself, you are disciplined, you have spiritual uh, vision, you are aware of the scriptural truths, you are aware of the divinity, you are aware of the Bhagavad Gita and the principles of the Bhagavad Gita, then you may have problems or you may not, but you will be able to navigate through it. But those people who are hell-bent deep down in, who are stooped in materialistic pleasure and also irresponsibility, well, for them, it's going to be a tough year, okay? So, depending on your behavior and your actions in the previous years, it will be decided how 2024 will be for you, okay? And... This is not a video on mundane astrology. So uh, when I say it will be decided, it doesn't mean, you know, something very bad will happen. Nor am I saying that something bad cannot happen. Okay, but irrespective of what happens, is there another pandemic or if there is world war or what, what not is there, you will get results as per your own karma. Do not forget that. Okay, so therefore uh, do not use anything as an excuse now. Many people sometimes, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, this is the year of Saturn, what can you do? 
But do, remember, Saturn is the lord of the 10th house, right? 10th sign Capricorn, he is Karmantipati, right? So therefore, if uh, Shani is giving you something, it means you really deserve it. You really, 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 really deserve it. You, you are made for it. <laughs> and this year, whatever you do in your profession, whatever you do in your job, business, entrepreneurship, self-employment, that is a very important area of your life because uh, that uh, that will eventually become a very important part of your life because uh, it is now like saying the 10th house is getting activated. So the karma sthan is getting activated. So therefore, please focus on your uh, karma, your actions, not just your job. Job is only 8 hours. So what are you doing the rest 8 hours? You know, 8 hours you are sleeping or uh, you, you are like, you know, eating or doing whatever. And then what are you doing in the morning, those three hours and evening three hours? What are you doing? Okay, so just don't focus on your job, job, job. You know, it could be you are doing good uh, as an employee or as a business owner. But then the time before and after your job between sleep is not good. You are doing something which you should not do. So therefore, when I speak of the 10th house, it is not just your job. It is your karma. What are you doing? Okay, so watch. Be very watchful of your karma because this year... Saturn is standing right in front of you and he is checking on you. All right. So this is good news or it could be bad news depending on who you are. Right. So therefore, use this time properly. And if you utilize this time properly, your gains will be humongous. You will have exponential gains during this year. And you will see people who have been putting hard work, putting uh, diligent efforts, they will make it very big this year. You always remember this. All right. Thank you so much. Jai Shri Ram. And if you are new, then please subscribe to the channel. And for astrological consultations, you can go to, oh, sorry, to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. If not, at least on 22nd January this year. Thank you so much.